Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Brennan. I am a part-time reseller. Uh, garage sale season has fully, fully kicked off here uh, in Cincinnati. Uh, it is somewhat of a rainy and gloomy-ish Friday morning, but we are still going to go hit. Still going to go hit some. Uh, we've got quite a few neighborhood sales this weekend, so hopefully we'll be able to find some some great stuff. I'll use this quick, quick time here as we're driving. Uh, quick, quick plug for my whatnot. Having a lot of fun selling on whatnot. It's a pretty fun platform if you have not uh, tried it out. I will put a link to uh, to my channel um, in the description below. Um, primarily I'm doing vinyl and cassettes there, uh, but I actually, today I'm doing my first toy show. And also, I just bought a huge, huge lot of uh, toys on Facebook Marketplace. Let's go see what these sales have for us today. Good morning. Hi. How you guys Hi. doing? Hey, Pretty good. Glad the rain is uh, gone yeah. for us. Us too. We were out here like maniacs while it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how many people decided not to open based on the weather from last night. Yeah, it seems like a lot because there were supposed to be 30 houses in the sale this weekend. Oh, wow. Although well, I wonder if some people are only selling tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that tends to happen. One dollar? Morning. Hey there, how's it going? Too bad yourself. Twenty bucks. Sorry, how much? Twenty. Twenty. Brand 
not too shabby. Stools, the other ones in the basement on each one. Okay, those are nice. We have like a bar space downstairs, but honestly, never use it. Because <laughs> you don't have any bar stools. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right. Utah Jazz. Mug and snug. Thank you, sir. You have a good day, man. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing today? Real good. How about you? Cannot complain. Okay. <laughs> You look like you've stayed dry so far. Yeah, the weather broke nicely for us. Yes. I was not sure if that was going to be the case when I got up this morning. Thank you very much. You too. Well, everything's uh, priced, but uh, make me an offer. I want to get rid of stuff. So, hello there. Thank you for Good stopping morning. by. Nice bike. It needs some work. It needs a uh, uh, the, the rear tire needs a new inner tube. I'm not sure about the front. It may also need an inner tube, but it's got a new seat and new brakes. Nice. Ooh, that there's a lot of golf clubs. Yeah, that was my dad's hobby. He liked making golf clubs, and then uh, he moved to Hawaii, and he didn't want to ship them to Hawaii, so. So you I got them, and I, I get rid of them. So if you golf, let me know, and I'd be happy to, uh, to talk about it. Those are very really nice. She said he makes them. Yeah, he'd order like the shafts and the heads, and then put the the, the grips on them. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It's like, a, it was like his hobby. A couple CDs here. What do you got there? Five. Five. Just... Change. Thanks. Works, Dad. He, that was his hobby. He would buy things. Yeah, you can have that. How much are your records? Um, dollar each. Wow, oh, the like your pumpkins over there. The pumpkins, um, Would you take 30 out. for the whole it thing? It is supposed to still storm today. I think there's like 40, there's like 45 to 50 in here maybe. Oh, sure. I'll just get it out of there. Oh. One, one fell swoop. I was yes, sir. Sweet. Thank you. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so it is now Saturday. Um, and so I, I 
most of the videos you saw were from Friday. Um, and there wasn't, there was not a whole lot out there Friday, to be honest. Um, we got a ton of rain and I think it kept a lot of people away. Uh, so I didn't find a whole lot, uh, didn't find a whole lot Friday. Uh, had a little bit better luck Saturday. We've got quite a few things here, but I didn't get to record on Saturday. So, um, yeah, this is just a weird video. So, you know, I apologize, but Hey, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. So let's take a look at what we, uh, what we picked up here, uh, mostly Saturday. I think there may be one or two things from Friday in here, but I'll take a quick look here. A lot of fun, a lot of fun, fun things we got going on here. Uh, I thought this was really cool. Um, I'm not, I'm not an Ohio State fan, but I know that a lot of people are. Um, so this is just a Ohio State drink dispenser. You know, you can fill this with water, uh, Capri Suns, you know, things, things, things like that. Um, yeah, so I thought this was really cool. It was a pretty cool little helmet there. So this was five bucks. Uh, I haven't looked it up yet. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Anyway, um, I thought these Bengals mugs were actually, actually pretty cool. Pretty cool vintage looking. I don't know if they are old or not, but they definitely looked really cool. So there were two of those for a dollar. And also this Giants, um, uh, Giants class as well. Um, here we've got a smart garage hub by Chamberlain. So basically it's supposed to be universal. You can upgrade your garage door openers to smartphone control. I don't know if there's any value here, uh, but it, I believe it's new and it was only two bucks. So I take a shot on that one. So we'll look it up and see. Um, I almost, if I see these, I almost always will buy them if they're new. Again, I don't know if there's much value with this one. I think this was two bucks or maybe it was three, three bucks. Um, this is the, a G handheld cassette recorder. Now, obviously if you see Sony Walkman or something like that, I think everyone knows to, to pick that up. So we'll see if that one's got any value at all. I'm not sure. Uh, I just grabbed this. This was a dollar. Uh, this is Clinique. 06 Daybreak Single Shade EO Chocolate Bark Limited Edition. I don't know anything about um, makeup stuff, but I know that there's some value sometimes, especially if, if it's new and this was cheap enough to uh, take a shot. Got some pretty cool action figures. These uh, action figures were all a dollar. Uh, so this is a DC Direct um, Superman Doomsday action figure. It's a Daffy Duck. Uh, Scarlet Pumpernickel and a McFarlane Frankenstein. Um, and what else do we got here? Also, this uh, McFarlane's Dragon Series 3 and a Star Trek Klingon Battle Cruiser. Um, so I haven't looked, I haven't looked these up uh, yet. Um, my my thought process with these is I, I am selling on whatnot now. You know, if these aren't over twenty dollars or so, uh, eBay wise, I'll just throw them on in a whatnot auction. Uh, especially since they were a dollar a piece, um, I think I'll do do fine, um, do fine doing that there. So that's how those will go. Um, I was supposed to, I was supposed to have had a toy, uh, my first toy whatnot, um, this past Friday, the May sixth. Uh, but we had, had an issue at work. I had to cut my vacation day short, so I did not get to do that whatnot. So it's been pushed. Lucky for all y'all. Um, so that one will be on Wednesday, May 11th at 11.30, I believe. 11.30 or noon. I'll put the link down in the description and throw it up there on the screen as well. Uh, if you guys are interested in finding some good deals, have a little bit of fun. There's a ton of toys that'll be uh, in that auction. I think everything's going to start at a dollar. Um, and yeah, you, this is some of what is actually going to be in that auction. So lots of, got some X-Men figures here. Uh, it's pretty much all, all new, all new stuff will be in that auction. We've got some Amiibo, you know, Pokemon, Masters of the Universe, all types of cool stuff. So, you know, if you have not yet followed, please uh, click that link, follow. Um, a lot of fun over there. Anyway, back to regularly scheduled programming. Um, picked up this Tech 2 Dual Power. This was, I think she's, I think this was $5. And I'm pretty sure this is for trains. And I haven't looked, again, I haven't looked any of this stuff up. Uh, but, you know, um, if I get the time, I'll throw, throw some comps up there for some of this stuff here. Uh, this is a Fitbit. I don't know which model this one is. It was, 
It was $4. She doesn't have a charger for it, so we'll see how that one goes. Uh, I've got a Guns N' Roses Greatest Hit CD, and that one is sealed, so I like I like some sealed media. Um, I did pick this one up on Friday. This is a, uh, it's a, a Bear Youth Bow and Arrow. It's actually a really nice set. Uh, so this is five bucks. I think this one goes for right around 30, 35. Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, but at five bucks, it was a uh, pretty, pretty easy pickup. Uh, I got this, the big bobber floating cooler. Uh, this was five dollars. Um, I sold one of these a few years back and I thought it was going closer to like 40 or 50. Right now, these don't seem to be doing as well as I had thought. Um, I'll probably, I'm going to be trying to get about 30 out of this one from, from what I have seen. Uh, I've seen some only going for, you know, around, around 20, but I paid five, so I'll probably hold a 30 for a bit on that one. Pretty sweet, uh, purple rain prints in the revolution t-shirt. Uh, I don't know if there's any value to that at all. It was a dollar. If there's not, it'll just go into my, my closet. <laughs> um, cause I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, I've got the sprint. The Magic Box, uh, I sold one of these years ago as well, and I don't think these are super great any longer. I think these go for maybe right around 30 new, something along those lines, so double check it a little bit closer, but it is, it is new. Uh, I've got a Braven uh, Bluetooth speaker. Um, oh yeah, and so these were free. Um, oh, got a, little, yeah, got a little spider on there. Um, so this is free sterno, two hour chafing fuel for basically for catering or whatever. Um, the guy said that they had these for their leftover from their uh, wedding reception. And he just said, you can take them if you want. And these actually in lots of about six or so sell for right around 20 bucks or so. So it's actually not a, not a bad, not a bad find for free. That's for sure. And most likely the best, the best find of the day. Uh, is this is a autographed Mia Ham uh, jersey and it is authenticated. It's got a certificate of authenticity from Beckett uh, down here. It's got the sticker on there um, as well as this little authentic thing here. Also a uh, signed print as well. And this frame is fantastic. So this is a, a Jack Cube design, uh, which I've heard these have uh, pretty good value. I haven't seen, you know, this exact frame yet. Um, so I've got to decide whether or not I want to, if I'm going to split these out or just do it all, you know, all together in one. Uh, so I paid 50 bucks for this. I think uh, realistically on the low end, um, I'm pretty confident that I can get 125, 130 for the jersey um, on the low end. I'm probably going to list this all together, I think. Um, and I'm probably going to start it at maybe like 200 or so, somewhere along those lines. I don't know. Well, I'll think about that, but either way, I thought this was really cool. Uh, pretty cool piece of, of history. Hopefully it doesn't flop. Um, if you, if you get that, if you get my, my drift there, this is the, uh, you know, the haul for today. Um, I'm probably not going to do anything with it. I've got some other things to do today, so it's just going to sit here. And uh, maybe I'll get to it. Uh, maybe I'll get to it tomorrow. We shall see. But I think that's it for today's video, guys. I really appreciate you hanging out. And until next time, stay curious.